Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel Software Testing. It's me Daniel. Nice that you're here today. You have seen it in the title and it is should we as software testers be worried about AI, generative AI, prompt engineering and other AI technologies coming to the market? Are we going to lose our jobs? Let's find it out. I got this question from many of you in feedback on direct messages and stuff. You sent me emails. Hey, Daniel, can you talk about the topic? I'm really concerned about my job in AI is coming and approaching my area. I see the first tools entering the market and also entering my company. Is this really something I should worry about? And yeah, so that's the question for today. Should a software tester be worried about AI? Let's take a quick look on my point of view, how I see it. And with that, let's go ahead. And to be honest, AI technology will change our lives. That's fact. I see it in a similar disruptive way as when I was, no, when, when Apple introduced the first iPhone in 20, oh, not in 20, in 2007. They introduced it. There were other competitors laughing about it. Oh, nobody wants like a phone without, without keyboard and stuff. We all notice or we all know like how this went for, for those brands and a mobile disrupted the industry quite heavily, right? I mean, look around and now AI is doing the similar thing. AI is almost everywhere and it's just taking off and we're just at the beginning. Here's an example it's from the business of apps like generative AI is the talk of the tech world right now. And according to business of apps, more than 2.5 billion US dollars have been generated in revenues from voice assistants, chatbots or face, facial recognition tools. And that's just, wow, it's just mind blowing. It's just chest assistance, just chatbots. There's no AI technologies yet, like generative AI and stuff that we have seen right now. So the market is just like taking off. Yeah. And also a, a really a crazy example that I found online is like how long brands uh, took like from a time point of view until they reach 1 million customers or users. So as you can see on top, there's Netflix in 1999. It took them 3.5 years to go get to 1 million users. I mean, Airbnb, two and a half years, Twitter, two years, Foursquare, uh, some month, Facebook, 10 months. And if you check down below, ChatGPT, it took them five days to reach 1 million users. And that's just crazy, to be honest. Yeah, that's just crazy and shows like how AI is changing our world. And also like AI was the topic in 2023, even on my channel. And there were so many articles in newspapers, even my, my parents, for example, they asked me like, hey, what is this all about? This AI topic, what is generative AI? And it was in their local newspaper in a small town. So it really, it's, it's entering all levels of our lives already. So that's crazy. So there's AI for everything and everywhere. It was the topic and will remain the topic. And as I said, it was also a big topic on my channel. I've seen it on my channel that you are consuming heavily the videos about AI, which I really enjoy and love. And I explored many tools from other brands and vendors, like what are they doing with AI from prompt engineering to uh, user generated test automation to test case generation and so forth, self healing stuff. If you would like to know more, check my videos on my, on my channel about all the AI topics. And I even generated a book, uh, a software testing book completely with AI. It was also really crazy. You can find it also in like in the video description or on my channel. And it took me a couple of hours to just generate a basic software testing book. It's on LeanPub. It's for free to use and to check. It's not perfect, but it's really crazy what you can do with AI already in 2023 and now in 24. Um, so should we worried about. And here's also another look that is really impressive. Um, Generative AI overview. So there's AI tool market is growing like crazy. I said it already. There are many companies investing heavily on a daily basis in those tools. And there's almost a tool for every aspect. And as you can see on the, on the, on the big screen here, so there are tools for speech and audio, text chat, image recognition, video, 3D simulations, general productivities. And you can see like the brands behind the different categories. And I think when I found this on LinkedIn. Yeah, I've put the link also in the video description down below that this um, screenshot, that this is already outdated. I think it, it's almost doubled the size already uh, when this video is coming out. So that's, that's crazy. And you should really step up the game on AI. So AI, a lot is promise, uh, promised. Of course, AI can do everything for, for us and for you. Yeah, we have seen it. I've, I've seen it, but still. 
Sorry for the break for the main video. A big thanks to Practitest for sponsoring today's video. Practitest isn't your average test management platform. They are on a mission to push the boundaries of what test management can achieve. Practitest is an end-to-end -end test management that truly unifies and orchestrates all testing practices, tools, teams, and tasks in a single platform. Its unique core architecture is designed to streamline and simplify processes and enables top-notch test data management capabilities, even for the most complex and robust testing environments. Its super QA intelligence provides unmatched multidimensional reporting, insights empowering business, day-to-day -day management, and informed decision-making. But it gets better. Practitest helps you to improve your team's productivity by boosting collaboration, eliminating duplication and reducing maintenance. Plus, they're constantly pushing the boundaries with AI-powered features that optimize your QA operations and drive efficiencies to new heights. So you can focus on what truly matters. So let's take a quick look of Practitest Central Dashboard. Imagine having all your testing activities in one place. That's what the dashboard provides. Requirements. Easily access all your project requirements for clear testing goals. The milestone sections. Define high-level testing objectives with timelines and clear roadmap. Test library. The data organization of Practitest is very unique and is way beyond the hierarchical folder structure. The bottom line is you can find any test case or group them in just a matter of seconds. Test case. Each test case, depending on its type, has different and detailed attributes and custom fields. Test sets and runs. Group tests together based on features or tasks for efficient execution. Issues. Track all your bugs found during testing with detailed information. Practitest also enables seamless two-way sync between popular ticketing systems like Jira, ClickUp, Azure DevOps and many, many more. And of course the unmatched real-time visibility. Dashboards. Visualize key metrics and identify bottlenecks, assess risks and make data-driven decisions. In the report sections, you can generate detailed reports for in-depth analysis and share them with stakeholders. If you want to find more about Practitest, check the links down below in the video description and check out their great product. Thank you again to Practitest for being the main sponsor of today's video and supporting our testing community. And now back to the main video. Should we worry about as software testers? And of, yes, there were some challenges for us coming around, but there are also some good points that we can take and make the best out of it. So some companies might replace testing with AI. I have heard it already. And to be honest, I don't think that they will be happy in the long run. I think it's the same stuff, the same situation that happened a couple of years ago when everybody was saying like, hey, let's automate, let's do test automation, let's invest heavily over there and let's replace all testing with test automation. Yeah, we know what happened, right? I mean, no. <laughs> to be honest, we cannot replace our testing with test automation. And I think the same is going to happen with AI. There might be some companies thinking the way that we can now finally get rid of testing, but at the same time, we, they could also think, hey, now finally we can get rid of developers because we can generate the code. So we can just enter a prompt, the machine is doing the, the coding and we copy paste it over and it's running. We all know this is also not the case, right? And but there might be some companies or management or people that think that way. Yeah. So there are many testing tools on the market already. As I mentioned, check my videos on my channel. I put almost every category on video or on, on current testing tools already in a video. So for you to cover up. So, but where to start with all the AI content? That's the most important part. Yeah. So here's some general tips that um, will help you to overcome AI challenges. First of all, never trust an AI output. And that brings me back to my very first point. So if company really, if a company really thinks that they can replace a tester with an AI, they will find out pretty soon that this is not a good idea because we know that LLMs or GPTs or whatnot, generative AI, they tend to hallucinate and to give incorrect answers. We have seen many examples. I think I have it all somewhere in one of my videos. Um, where where the, the, the output of the LLM was just completely wrong or was just making up something. So really, AI will bring a lot of potential for us software testers to use our brains, our critical thinking, communication skills to really question the things that are coming out of an LLM. 
Yeah, that's what I meant here. And that's why that brings me to the next topic. And I think the last one for that slide is we can use LLMs and our critical thinking and our brain and judgments to use and to improve prompting. So because the better the prompts are that you put into a generative AI, the better the results are. And that's something that we need to judge. And I think testers will do more uh, judgment on checking on the results coming out of an LLM or an AI generated output than testing the LLM itself. I mean, this could also be something that you can dive into, like really theoretical learning about the algorithms, what the LLM is doing, what is the data set that is being used to train this, the, the system and stuff like that. But I think prompting, prompt engineering and checking the output will be like a big topic in the coming years for us. And these are the really cool opportunities for us because we can use AI already these days, like as of today in 2024, to solve complex tasks for us as software testers. And here's a nice example because we can now more work more efficient and it saves us a lot of time to, uh, to focus on more complex tasks that we don't would like to give to an AI. Yeah, so that, that's a cool important thing. And yeah, we have new job perspectives in AI with prompt engineering. I mentioned that before. So with prompt engineering, we can really take, take a next step in your career. Check out the online platforms for jobs. There are a lot of engin prompt engineering jobs available in the market. Yeah, And here's the example that I would like to show you is it can help us already right now to solve a complex task. And this is a real life example. I also found this on, on Twitter from Peter Yang. And he basically saw this sign, parking signs. And we all know the struggle sometimes like, oh my God, who should understand exactly the total signs? And how can I know right now if I can park here or not? And what he did, he was just posting the picture in GPT and asked the, uh, the GP say, hey, can I park here? And then the, the AI was checking the image saying, yes, you can park here for one hour starting at 4 p.m. And that's great. And that's similar things that we can do already with AI features today as software testers. You can use it for test data generation, test case generation, self-healing, writing test scripts, migrating test scripts and stuff like that. Check out my videos. I said it, I think I said it now the last time. Check my videos um, that I've already done on AI topics to see how can you benefit from those tools because they can help you to free up a lot of your time and to focus on more complex testing stuff. Yeah. So what else do we have? Um, can AI harm software testers? And that's basically um, one phrase that I put together. I think that I'll just read it out now. People with less knowledge about software testing might fail into the same trap as with test automation. I mentioned that before. When test automation became a hype topic years ago, many companies decided to replace testers with automation, or at least believed this might be the right path. And the same might happen with AI, but we know better. Uh, so that's a quote that I, uh, I re I've written down. And exactly, I think, can, can AI harm testers? I think a little bit if AI is used in the wrong way, if AI is used um, yeah, in a wrong way, period, right? I mean, if people who have no idea about software testing think they can replace a human brain with some AI, hmm, they might fall into the trap and they will notice sooner, um, um, later, no, sooner than later, that this is not a good idea. So yes, uh, we, we can see that in case you see it, um, tell them like what you can do with LLMs, what they cannot do for you right now. And like, tell them like, like testers need to, to, to be there to judge the, the results and to, to work in prompt engineering and stuff like that. So the, the industry might change a bit with AI, but this is not like tightly connected to software testing. The industry will also change for product managers, for scrum masters, for developers, for authors, for almost every digital workers, AI is going to change the way we work in the next years. And I mentioned it before, we just started. Yeah, so that's crazy. So should software testers be worried? No, I would say no, but get ready for a new world. I just said it, be ready for change. You should invest time to learn about AI and provided tools. So for example, one way that what I do right now is I'm reading this book about, about generative AI and I put some more book recommendations down below. So you should really invest the time and learn about AI features, what they can do for you and what not. Yeah? Try to try many tools to see if they can help you already right now. Check my videos to see what tools are on the market and how can they help you in your current role as a software tester. 
Um, of course, AI will bring new challenges to us and will also at the same time bring new opportunities. Yeah. So challenges in terms of we have to fight for wrong perception on replacing AI or testers with AI. At the same time, we can use it to generate test data, test scripts and stuff like that to speed up our work and to be more efficient. I see AI more as the addition to our toolbox to, to have another tool that we can use in order to be more efficient. Yeah, I would say never trust an AI for now because of the pot potential wrong outputs, hallucination stuff like that. So for now, don't blindly trust it. Use prompt engineering in a, in a good way. Learn about prompt engineering and then still judge the output. That's important. Yeah. We're just at the beginning. It's something new. I, I said it already a couple of times. So be, be aware that change is coming in a, in a high speed. And I'm looking forward to, to be honest, but I will mean, I'm a tech guy. I love to improve things on a daily basis, but um, we also have to take it with a grain of salt and to judge it and use critical thinking and reflect on the things that we see. Yeah. But still be open for change and always stay, stay constant uh, a learning path ahead as well. Yeah. So here are the book recommendations that I can uh, recommend to you. I mean, I have them on my shelf. I start reading with Generative AI for now. I'm almost like halfway through the book. It's a good introduction so far. And then I'm going to focus on LLMs, Business Case of AI, the CEO Guide for Generative AI. And I, I read already as AI Assisted Testing from Mark Winteringham. Uh, so also a book that uh, I can highly recommend you to read. It focuses mainly, mainly on testing I, I LLMs and stuff. Really good stuff. Go ahead and read it out. And with that, I mean, that's closing the slide for today. Let me know, what do you think about AI? Are you worried about AI entering the, the, the tech world? Have you already noticed some changes in your life as a software tester? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your story on the topic. And maybe if you think you have an interesting story to tell, let me know and we can do an interview on my channel here as well. So thanks for coming by. Like it, share it and subscribe it as always. Have a great day and bye-bye.